In this video, we are going to continue with derivatives of natural logarithmic functions. You will find this on page 485 in the Namibia AES level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at a few extra examples. Differentiate with respect to x. First this one. Now, take note. Do you see that there is its multiply, its x multiply uh, lin, lin x. So basically I'm going to use the product rule. So I'm going to say x, so these are my two functions. There's the x and the other one is that. So I take my first function, I just write it down, I differentiate the second. Plus I write the second down and I differentiate the first. Okay, now I just showed you, just to leave this, how do I make use of the chain rule? So if I differentiate this, make y equals lin u, u equals lin x. Then this is 1 over u, and this is 1 over x, and if I multiply, I substitute u. So if I differentiate this, I will get this, and that's what I showed you there. Okay, so this one, I'm, I'm just rewriting, and if I differentiate x, it's just 1. And now I'm just going to see, I'm going to just um, simplify this and this, and this is my answer. I, this is my differentiated function. Okay, if I look at this one, I'm going to make use of the quotient rule now. So I rewrite the denominator, I differentiate the numerator. I subtract, I rewrite the numerator, I differentiate the denominator, and I square. Okay, and then I'm just simplifying this. I'll get this. If I simplify this, I get this. But now, what I'm basically doing here, I, okay, this, I make one term, so that's 3x. But this, can I just show you? I actually put it over 1. And to make it the same as this, I multiply, and this is what I showed you, I multiply with 3x plus 2, that denominator, and then I'm getting this. But don't, don't forget, this one is over 1. So it's a fraction over a fraction. So I multiply with the reciprocal. And then this is my final answer. Okay, especially the simplifying can be complicated. But if you see you have a fraction on top, make it one, one um, fraction on top. It's not two terms, just with one term. And then multiply by the reciprocal and then just simplify. Okay, take note, you cannot cancel that out because there's a lin in front of that bracket. This one is also very interesting. So, y is not alone. So, I first want actually to make y, y equals something. So, I convert from exponential to a logarithmic form. So, I this is going to become a lin and I just swap. This is the two sides. I just swap that two sides, make it a little bit bigger, so you can see better. Okay, so basically this is, and, I, and I'm just swapping that side, so y equals lin and then this, and now I'm going to differentiate by making use of the chain rule, so y equals lin u, and u is this, I differentiate, I multiply, and this is going to be my final answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A. Um, I'm going to give you this very challenging one. So that's why I'm just going to call it C. And then we will use the quotient rule in, in this, this one. Okay. Stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay. Let's look at number A. Okay, y is equal to x lin 2x minus 1. Okay, so take note, this is your first function, this is your second function. So I'm going to use the product rule. So if I start, I say dy by dx, I rewrite the fun first function and I differentiate the second. Just don't forget the lin. It's the product, so plus I rewrite. And don't forget that lin. 
and I differentiate. the second function okay then I'm going to say it's x and if I'm the okay now if I differentiate this I'm going to do it here <laughs> because it's I'm going to say um, lin 2x minus 1 Let's just put a bracket there can I just show you here because I don't want to get it mixed up so d over dx lin Okay, so make it, we are going to follow the chain rule. So make it y, y is equal to lin u and u is equal to 2x minus 1. So dy by du equals 1 over u and du by dx is equal to 2. And if I multiply this, I get dy by dx. It's going to be 1, or 1 times 2, it's going, because put this over 1, so it's 2 over u, 2x minus 1. Okay, so now I, it's, it's all right if you do it, you can do it on the side, if you don't want to get your, your, your calculations too complicated in the sum. We also did it in the previous page, this one. Okay, so I rewrite and I differentiate x and that is just 1. So I end up with 2x over 2x minus 1 plus ln 2x minus 1. And that will be my final answer. Okay, let's look at number C. Okay, if I look at number C, this is going to be, it's almost like the previous example, the Y is there in the exponent. 3x to the power 3 minus 2x. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm first going to go from exponential form to logarithmic form. So it's then going to give me, um, I make it len, remember len, it's e, and I swap this two. This is the two I swap. So it's len, you don't have to write the e because len is a base of e, and it's free x3 minus 2x and that's equal to y. And I think I will just rewrite it. So it's going to be len 3x3 minus 2x. Okay, and now I'm going to differentiate it. So if I differentiate it, let's just make it the same. We use the chain rule. So make it y equals len u and this is u and u is equal to 3x3 3 minus 2x. So dy by du, it's 1 over u, and du by dx, 3 times 3, it's 9x squared minus 2. If I multiply, if I then the u's will cancel out, du's, so dy by dx, will be equal to, um, put this over 1, so it's 9x squared minus 2 over, and what is u? Now, which is make it correct there, 3x3 3 minus 2x. Okay, and that is my final answer. Okay, let's look at number D. I'm going to rewrite it first. X minus 5. Okay, because this is going to be quite a long sum, 
I'm going to make enough space for me. Okay. So let's start. I think the best will first be to rewrite it as Lynn and first multiply this out. So Lynn, this is going to, if I multiply this out, let's just see, I'm, and because I'm going to just write the final here. Um, so x times 2x will be 2x squared um, plus x minus 4x minus 2. So this is going to be, let's just write it there, uh, 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. And if I multiply this one out, this is going to be x squared minus 5x. Okay, now I'm going to start. Now I'm just going to use the chain rule. So I'm going to say um, I make this this part u, so it's going to be y is equal to lin u, and u is equal to 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 over x squared minus 5x. So if I start to differentiate, so dy by du equals 1 over u. And now this one, du by dx, and now I'm using the quotient rule. So can you remember? I rewrite the denominator. I differentiate the numerator. Subtract. I rewrite the numerator. I differentiate the denominator. And this is going to be over Okay, so now I'm just going to simplify. I think the best will be uh, if I first simplify the top. Okay, the numerator. So let's just simplify this. Again, um, if I don't want to make... Okay, that's all right. Let's just write it out. Okay, so if I multiply this two, it's going to be 4x to the power of 3 minus 3x squared minus 20x squared plus... 15x, keep the negative first, so this is going to be 4, uh, 2 times 4x to the power of 3, um, 4x to the power of 3, minus 10x squared, minus 6, I just want to move it still a little bit, that's still a little bit of space. Okay, so this is 4x3 minus 10x squared minus 6x squared plus 15x minus 4x 4x plus 10. Okay, and that's over, I'll leave the denominator, so x squared minus 5x squared. Okay, if I simplify this, I'm doing it a little bit long now, um, okay, I'm just going to first rewrite everything, just doing it long. Unnecessary, but I'm afraid otherwise we will make a mistake with the negative. So it's going to be minus 4x3 plus 10x squared plus 6x squared minus 15x plus 4x minus 10. Okay, and this is going to be over x squared minus 5x squared. Okay, now you will see this is x3, x3, this is 
x square x square x square x square this is just x this is just x just x okay so let's start it seems to be what happened here is this cancel out this is nice okay so this is going to be all the x square this is negative 23 uh, plus 16 okay so that is going to give me s s um, negative 7 so then i have negative 23 the big sign is negative 20 negative so plus 16 and that's going to be negative 7x squared and let's see 15x this is cancelling out but plus 4x and this is going to be just negative 10 okay now now check here and this is going to be over x squared minus 5x squared okay but now uh, if I multiply this two, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to end up, moving it just a little bit up, with, it's 1 over u, multiply that negative 7x squared plus 4x minus 10 over x squared minus 5x squared. Okay? And again, now don't forget what was u. Can you remember there was u? So if I'm if I'm writing it in now, u, just going to change a little bit color. So it's going to be one over that two x. Let's get the pen correct. Two x squared minus three x minus two over x squared minus 5x multiply with this negative negative 7 x squared plus 4x minus 10 over x squared minus 5x squared okay now this is a lot of writing and i could have already swapped it here so this is one over a fraction so i'm multiplying with the reciprocal but it's going to end up with and i'm just going to use another color just that you see the steps nice so it's just going to be this on top and this at the bottom and i multiply and i want to show you here And it's going to be over x squared minus 5x squared. What I wanted to show you is that this bracket is exactly the same. So one of these two brackets will cancel out. So I will end up, and I'm going to put it just here, just move it up. So one of that brackets will cancel out. So basically it will cancel on top and one there. So I will end up with negative and I'm going to make it red because this is my final answer negative 7 x squared plus 4x minus 10 over and now I have the two brackets this one bracket is going to be 2 x squared minus 3 x minus 2 and one of these brackets is left x squared minus 5 x and that is your final answer. You can still multiply it out and see if it can factorize and see if something can cancel out. But I think in this sum, this, we can stop at this point.